we heard about the class of 2025 wide receiver Caleb Cunningham. He's from the state of Mississippi. Uh, I don't know. They're saying that he has an NIL valuation of about a 450K. And he was basically saying that he feels like staying in the state of Mississippi is going to work well for his brand. To me, all I hear is that it's companies in Mississippi that's willing to pay. <laughs> that's what I hear. But, but you know, I, I get it. I mean, people do what they have to do, right? But then also our class of 2026 cornerback, we only had two commits in our uh, class of 2026. Dorian Barney, he decommitted the day after we beat LSU. And I thought that was very interesting. So I want to get y'all's takes on this. And then also the decommits that we have Caleb Cunningham and I think some of us kind of saw that coming to some degree but then also Dorian Barney especially the timing of it so um JB let me start with you on this one what are your thoughts about the guys that decommitted these guys are going to commit and decommit all through because they don't really have a grasp on this process now mm -hmm. that the NIL is involved you got like you say companies and these other towns where the colleges are willing to pay for these guys willing to pay top dollars to pull them away from my Alabama. So we have to be mindful of that. And these kids are going to do whatever is best in the best interest of them. It could be playing time. It could be opportunity. It could be money. It could be family situation, whatever it is. The impact of the win should be a positive. Maybe it'll come a little later on. Like you just mentioned, we had a couple guys decommit. Some of this stuff, like the Caleb Cunningham, I told Stephen L. Smith this on Sunday night talking about. I told him, he said it was a package deal with him and Aikla did. There's no package deals anymore. It's about self. I feel like it's about self, and I'm, I'm going to stick to that. I really believe that these guys, I don't believe in them until they sign, until signing day. I don't believe in them until signing day. With all that being said, I think winning still impacts recruiting to a certain extent, but now you got NIL involved and – transfer port and all this involves hey anything goes now in my opinion it's three mm -hmm. things that kids gonna make the decision based off of that's nil relationships and proximity to home those three and and those those three alone is like 90 percent of college decisions that kids make as far as uh caleb cunningham he experienced a, a nice environment of course you know he he enjoys every visit he's a guy that were taking visits continue to visit you know, he's some he's somebody that when he committed us we didn't expect him to stick so a lot of people are saying even outside of alabama he's close to home got a, a good nil package he made a decision that was best for him to see if he takes visits elsewhere like he went while he's committed to them like he did when he was with us we'll see Ivan Taylor, I kind of like the uh, position that Bama's in. He's been a guy that Bama's been after really hard. You know, Bama's kept chopping wood, chipping away at the guy, talking to the guy, never stopped communicating with him. When he flipped from Notre Dame to Michigan, Bama stayed with him. They stayed with him, got him on for a visit. Bama is trending and trending heavily in the right direction. Tremendous talent, high football IQ. I like the way that we're training with him. I feel like we'll be able to get him. Time for just one more thing. Shout out to Joe Edwards. What happened for Caleb to flip to Ole Miss? It was Caleb being Caleb. We can't say that we're surprised. You kid like that, yeah. you're, wishing, you're wishing the best and just. <laughs> That's all it was, exactly. They got them good boosters up there. Bama is very fair in, in their NAL packages offering. So they, they got a level they're not going to go to. Bama not going to sit around and wallow. I, I trip. They they had a guy lined up, but Bama. Yeah. If Bama mm -hmm. wanted to take eight receivers, they could. They they always have a contingency plan, so Bama will be okay.